Welcome back to my channel. So today's look is back to school, back to uni, um, makeup routine. So I just thought I'd, you know, share my little routine that I know I would normally do. So um, yeah. So we've just primed my face with the Becca um, primer that I always use. Next, I'm going to take my Revlon Color Stay in the color caramel, and I'm just going to apply that to my face. Um, I don't want to. I usually don't wear a lot of foundation, so I just tend to make little dots on my face. Um, it won't like cover up everything, which is why I don't really feel like it's cakey. So um, yeah, so I'm just using my Real Techniques foundation brush, and I'm buffing everything out. Um, as you can see, it's not like full, full, full coverage, but it's, you know, it's there and um, it gives my face a nice, um, smooth canvas to work with. So, but overall it feels very light on my face, so I love it. So next I'm taking my PE blender. Yeah, the top part's sort of torn off, but never mind. Um, yeah, so I'm just using the PE blender just to make everything, um, evened out and more like skin so next I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm concealing those nasty bags under my eyes I'm just applying it in the areas that I need um, a little bit of like you know brightness to so um, I like wearing concealer just so I, I look more awake so I tend to use the color that is close not like close to my skin tone but at least like one shade above so obviously I'm using the fawn um, concealer not too bright but at least I look awake and you know we are when to look awake when we're in lectures so I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer I think it's gold dark golden or something like that but I'll put it in the description below so I've just applied that under my eyes just to give it a little bit more of like a warmer undertone I hardly ever use this but for some reason I just decided to pick it up so yeah so I'm just using my um, massive Yvory Technic sponge and I'm just buffing everything out making sure that there's no lines so when I apply my set powder it looks snatched because we all want to look snatched on the first day back okay okay so I'm taking my Sasha buttercup and I am applying it in the areas that I concealed so I'm not putting too much on I'm just applying like a light um, yeah I'm just applying a little bit on um, just enough to set so I'm just taking the setting powder underneath and cleaning up my, you know, jar and just applying it to my nose and my forehead. So yeah. So next I'm taking my NYX micro brow and I'm just brushing up my hair and doing my eyebrows. We all know I take the longest with my eyebrows, but hey ho. And if you'd like me to do like a brow tutorial, then let me know down in the comments um, I don't really do much to it to be honest I do have quite a few products that I use mainly um, based on how I feel so but today I just usually if I'm got somewhere to go I tend to use the NYX um, micro brow because I don't have time for squeezing out a product from the tube I don't have time to for the um, I should call it Anastasia. I've forgotten the name. Anastasia, the dip brow thing. So yeah, um, and sometimes I just can want like a natural bushy, unruly brow. So 
that's what I like. So I'm using the um, brow gel. I think it's from, gosh, I've had it for ages. I probably need to buy another one, but yeah, I'm lazy. So I'm just using it to comb out my hairs, just so it looks more, you know, bushy. So I'm taking this like, um, I forgot what it's called, but I'm pretty sure you just saw what the name is. Um, I'm just using that to contour. Um, usually I'd use a cream product, but usually I can't be asked when I'm getting ready to go to lecture and stuff. Cause I need something quick, obviously. So yeah, so I'm just contouring my nose with the same powder. I like it because it has like a neutral undertone. So it gives me more of like a shadow rather than a bronzed red look. I'm just taking this Maybelline mascara and it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, you know, for them itty bitty lashes. So um, you can skip the step, it's really up to you, but I'm extra, so yeah. So I'm taking that Fit Me powder and um, just evening out everything. So I think it's in the shade Caramel, but all the products are listed down in the description below. So yeah, so I'm just um, getting rid of all the possible flashback from the sash mm, Which one should I do? So, Abu Dhabi or London? Abu Dhabi. Cool. So I love that colour. Like, <laughs> it's like my perfect mood. Like, if I could get it in lipstick form, I'd be so happy. So I'm taking this NYX um, lip cream in I think it's Abu Dhabi and then my matte cork liner. So I'm just lining my lips. So it gives it more of like a, um, oh my god, like an ombre sort of look, I don't know. But it is one of my favourite lip liners to use every day. Um, so yeah, I love this lip liner, I need to get more. By the way, if there are any dupes, let me know because it's not every day I spend £14 on a lip liner. So y'all help me out. So yeah, I'm just taking the Morphe Liquid um lipstick it's a matte lipstick uh, i think it's called brunch so i'm just applying that to the center of my lips because i wanted more of like a pink undertone but although the camera is not really picking up very well it looks more and looks more orangey nude than pink nude so i'm just taking my laura geller um highlighter in gilded honey and i'm um, just applying that to where i want to be highlighted so um, I'm not trying to make it all like boom in your face. Um, I want it to be a little bit more on the natural side. So like a, you know, glow from within, but you know, you can tell that I've got highlighter on, you know? So it gives more of like a, this, well, this video is more of like a natural glow, you know? So I'm taking my um, Superdrug Vitamin E Hydrating Mist and setting my face. Um, it's really good, really affordable, it makes your makeup last pretty much, you know, most of the day. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for that to dry. Just right and dry it. That glow is so nice though. Anyway, um, just, so I'm just applying the mascara to my bottom lashes. You know, they, they need a little bit of help, but we all get there. Yeah. So yeah, on to styling my hair. Um, not gonna lie, I haven't washed it in a couple of days. So it looks a little, a little bit, um, you know, on the um, needs moisture side. So um, this hair is from Ruby Textures and it is the R Loose Wave. Um, all the information on this hair will be in the description below. So. Um, don't forget to check that out um, so yeah I think yeah so all this um, the lengths are 24 inches three bundles plus a 20 inch frontal so yeah so it's in a natural color no dyes nothing so it's quite dark anyway so I'm just taking my spray bottle it's just got water in it because I got lazy but usually if it's you know on a day when I'm getting ready for work or uni or whatever, I tend to put a little bit of conditioner, shake it up and spray it on the hair. That's it. Like I don't put any other products in it. 
it's either conditioner or like a curling cream sort of um, thing but I'll put in the um, products that I actually use on the hair I don't really do a lot to it to be honest apart from spraying it and giving it a bit you know detangling it and then off the go so yeah um, so I'm just sort of like getting the waves to be more um, defined so as you can see with just water you can see the curls um, pretty well so yeah I just love the texture it's so pretty so yeah so I'm just making sure the flyaways are gone because uh, we don't want them it's not cute so yeah so yeah um, on to the baby hairs technically these are actually some of them well I would say 90% of them is my hair because I didn't use the got to bleed on the sides I just did it on the top because I'm lazy so I'm just using my um, eco styler gel it's the argan one argan oil one so I'm just taking my toothbrush and working on them maybe here is honey because they need to be laid so um, yeah that's pretty much all I do play I just play around with it to see if I like it and voila so um, this is how the ends look um, it's not completely wet but you can still see the waves so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed the video this is pretty much how I will go to uni so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up and i'll catch you in my next one bye